Have you ever had a sudden fright? Perceived a threat, you're all geared up for fight or flight. Heart pounding, face flushed, hair standing up on end. It's partly from a hormone called epinephrine. Epinephrine's got another name, adrenaline. Secreted from adrenal glands, it's a stuff in EpiPens, a shot can save your life. If you have an allergy involving sensitivity to nuts to stink from bees, epinephrine's polar, so it can't diffuse through the lipid bilayer, so instead it induces a second messenger, it's cyclic AMP, which stimulates massive cellular activity. Let's learn how liver cells respond to an epinephrine dose. What they do is break down glycogen to glucose, which streams into your blood to give you energy required to respond to threats as you fight a flee. How does epinephrine get your liver cell to do this function? It's three steps, first reception, then transduction, then cellular response, and enzyme activation. We're learning about the process of cell communication. Cellular communication works through phases three. Reception of the ligand, the complementary, second messenger released, transduction is a beast. Now amplified response until the stimulus has ceased. Today's focus is G protein couple receptors. We'll leave the other systems for another lecture. Epinephrine's the ligand that with the receptor binds, it's a hormone, the hydrophilic kind. Ligands bind to receptors only if the shape matches its specific based on complementary attachment. Epinephrine goes everywhere but only affects cells with receptors with which it can connect. Once epinephrine binds at the receptor binding site, the receptor changes shape on its cytoplasmic side. Or just inside the membrane, you'll find the G protein, which until epinephrine binds is dormant, asleep in its dormant form. The G protein's bound to GDP, but epinephrine binding makes it bind with GTP. Then the G protein drifts in the membrane space till it bumps into a denylyl cyclase. A membrane bound enzyme whose signaling functions activating a second messenger, setting up transduction. Transduction converts a message into another kind. Message one was a ligand, which came along to bind with the receptor, which in response woke up the G protein, which gets a denylyl cyclase to take an ATP and remove two phosphates, making cyclic AMP. That's the second messenger. It takes a message deep into the cytoplasm where it unleashes a chain of enzyme action, a phosphorylation cascade. The message was received, it was then transduced. Next, we'll see how cellular response response gets produced. Cellular communication works through phases three. Reception of the ligand, the complementary. Second messenger released, transduction is a beast. Now amplified response until the stimulus has ceased. A phosphorylation cascade involves a chain of enzymes known as kinases. These kinases get phosphorylated, which means gaining a phosphate, which activates them. And what do kinases do when they're charged up with a phosphate? They find the chain sex kinase and phosphorylated. This chain of activation is like falling dominoes, because that's how a phosphorylation cascade goes. And each kinase carries out multiple activations, causing massive signal amplification. The signal grows in strength with every kinase action, building in intensity, a chain reaction. One epinephrine binds, causing many cyclic AMPs each of which activates many kinase proteins by the chain's last kinase, tens of thousands activated. A cellular tsunami as the chain is terminated. Glycogen phosphorylase is the enzyme at the end that makes glucose by hydrolyzing glycogen. So into the blood from the liver, glucose gets secreted, and the threat that started the story can be fled from or defeated. It's adaptive how your cells and poisons spring into action. Once they hear epinephrine's alarm, there's a reaction in all eukaryotes from amoebas to acacias G protein couple receptors used in cell communication. Cellular communication works through phases three. Reception of the ligand, the complementary. Second messenger released. Transduction is a beast. Now amplified response until the stimulus has ceased. Back to the ligand at the receptor. It only stays for a moment before it diffuses away. So when the threat is gone, the cascade gets shut down. With no adrenal secretion, the receptor's unbound. G protein drops the phosphate and bound to GDP. It goes back to sleep, stops its activity. Bound to GDP, it no longer stimulates. A denylyl cyclase, which no longer creates. Cyclic AMP, so the second message stops. Kinase phosphorylation quickly drops. As other enzymes, protein phosphatases, clip off phosphase, turn off kinases. Glycogen Phosphorylase stops hydrolyzing glycogen, so blood glucose normalizes, liver cells return to their resting state. I love how G proteins let cells communicate. If you like this song, please subscribe. Your comments and likes help our channel thrive. And check out our website, Learn Biology. I wrote it for you, and there you'll see. 
tutorials and quizzes, AP reviews, and our app Biomania. You can use it to study for AP Biology. You can get a four or five, that's our guarantee. Cellular communication works through phases three. Reception of the ligand, the complementary. Second messenger released, transduction is a beast. No amplified response until the stimulus has ceased.